If you have a plumbable prosumer level semi-automatic espresso machine, hopefully you're feeding it with high quality water. Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Our favorite inline water filter is the BWT Best Backs Premium. Today I'll cover how to find out your water hardness and use that information to set the bypass setting on the filter head. And I'll cover how to program the BWT Flow Meter if you're using one of those. If you'd like to learn how to install this BWT filter system, use the link up here. We've got a comprehensive video with very detailed step-by-step -step instructions for do-it-yourself filter system installation. So why do we like the BWT Best Max Premium? Well, it does all the things a good filter should do, but then takes it one step further with a process that will help reduce or eliminate descaling maintenance. More on that in a second. The BWT Best Max Premium is a five-stage filter with two particle and two carbon filter sections. Between those is BWT's patented ion exchange section, which removes calcium and replaces it with magnesium. This process maintains a proper mineral level for best flavor while reducing or eliminating scale buildup by exchanging magnesium for the calcium in your water. To get proper performance from your filter, you need to know the total hardness in German degrees of your source water. You'll plug that hardness information into a chart which gives you the bypass setting on the filter head as well as your filter capacity. So, some easy ways to determine your water hardness. The first method, it's simple. Check with your water supplier. Most have the information available online or give them a call. Another option, take a water sample to a home improvement, pool supply, or aquarium store. Most all will perform a water hardness test for free, but do check with them before you make the trip. The third option is to test it yourself. That can range from a water hardness test strip like this one to a more precise test kit where you count drops until you see a color change. The test strips are included with some espresso machines or you can pick up the test strips or the more precise drop based kits at most home improvement, pool supply or aquarium stores and online as well. Now if your test gave you hardness results in degrees, you're all ready to go to the chart that came with your filter and find the bypass setting. If your results came in parts per million or milligrams per liter, no problem. It's easily convertible to degrees using the online calculator I've linked in the description. Or if you're good with the math, just divide parts per million by 17.8 to get hardness in German degrees. So if your hardness is say 125 parts per million, divide 125 by 17.8 and you get 7.02. With that information, we can go to the chart that came with the filter. Now, my source water hardness is 7 degrees, so my bypass setting is 3. I'm using the S size filter, so I can also reference my filter capacity, which is 1,070 liters based on my source water hardness. If you are using a BWT flow meter, I'll show you how to set that up in a minute so you'll know when the filter should be replaced. Set the bypass setting on the filter head, depress the button, and turn until the notch lines up with your bypass setting. My setting is three, so I line it up like this. The button pops up when it's in position. Once set, that's it and you're done. Now, you don't have to use a flow meter, but we do recommend one if you're treating extra hard water as that lowers filter capacity or if you're likely to filter more water in a year than the filter capacity you found in the chart. If your annual usage is lower than the filter capacity, just replace the filter cartridge every 12 months. To program the flow meter with your filter capacity, press the program button, then press the reset button. Then press the reset button repeatedly to set the digit. To move to the next digit, press the program button and use the reset button to set that digit. Continue in this manner to set the rest of the digits. Once all the digits are set, press program until PGM disappears from the display and you're done. As you use water, the liters of filter capacity remaining counts down in the display. Replace your filter cartridge before the display gets to zero or every 12 months, whichever comes first. Hey, if you've got any questions on the BWT water filter system or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching and I hope you will subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. 
Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.